Car number 218667, 1993, 3000 GT VR4. So a treat for all of you Stealth and 3000 fans. So, uh, so yeah, we are gonna be taking this thing apart. Um, this is a pretty special car. So this is a 93, it does have active aero. Um, it is the turbocharged version. Somebody uh, did a lot of work under the hood here. It's got bigger injectors and things like that. We uh, will see if it starts. We did some work to get this um, at least running, or at least to, to start, um, but it's been sitting for a long time. So, uh, so we are gonna have an engine. I know those are uh, pretty sought after at this point, along with all these active aero components um, that this car has. So um, we've got aftermarket NKIs in here. Uh, the uh, glass roof panel so and this is running on an aftermarket ECU a tuned ECU so um, so all sorts of goodies on this car so again the twin turbo and I believe we're running I think it's running aftermarket turbos too uh, if I'm not mistaken I mean obviously they didn't come wrapped like that um, from the factory. So we'll see if it even turns on here. I know we've had some problems with um, getting uh, power. Somebody had relocated the battery at one point to the trunk. And so that's caused some headaches here. I have to set my camera down for just a minute. So we'll go over to the plate over here and try to stay on there for a little while. So uh, four wheel steer car too, if I'm not mistaken. So you can see it's running this aftermarket ECU. We'll find out when I get in here if, if it wants to uh, run or not. I don't remember if these are power seats. But somebody's definitely, whoever was in here last was one of our sh shorter, shorter folks. So let's see what turns on and doesn't turn on. Okay, so we're manual transmission as well. We'll try to put the clutch in and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I've got nothing on start so we'll see what we can test here we have started this let's see our headlights popped up we have started this engine so um, so we do know that it at least starts we'll compression test it once out of the car 145,000 miles um, on this car um, you can see things have been staying for a while so wipers look like they're working the basics here otherwise looks like our door lock actuators are working windows are working nice so I'm gonna turn off our things so we have enough power here we're gonna run out of power from our jump pack so two-tone interior um, looks like our passenger side window here control oh, there we go that's working um, our uh, I forgot what I was saying now so again windshield wipers work uh, looks like all of our graphics here are working from what I can see I always thought this is one of the cooler things these ones with the displays here pretty innovative for the time the time these came out It's all looking right. Um, if I turn active arrow on, I can hear the actuators. 
in back. Don't know if it's actuating properly. Um, this is our mirror switch, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, that's our one of our seat controls. So I can feel um, the lumbar engaging. Um, I thought, yeah, our mirror switch is just kind of dangling here right now. So our left side mirror isn't moving, right side mirror isn't moving currently, but our switch is also kind of broken here. Um, we've got the Touring versus Sport. Don't see our rear wiper rolling. So lots of stuff for us to test. Um, but this is um, this is a VR4. Uh, it does have a lot of those um, unique parts to the VR4. So again, the rear wheel steer. Um, this is all wheel drive. So um, so we've got all those drivetrain components. So parts will be available on our website www.playgroundpar.com or call us um, or our eBay store. Um, Playground Par. Uh, again, 1993 Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4, um, 145,000 miles. Parts will be available at www.playgroundpar.com.